<laughs> no, why does it look like that? I'm so excited. <laughs> I have fractured my fingers. Why am I like this? Good morning, everyone. It is Monday today of my second week of actual university. I was gonna film last week because obviously that was my first week of classes, but it was so hectic, I was so busy. I do really wanna show you guys what like a day, I mean, or maybe a week, it depends, of being like an LSE media and comm student is like. I have a online lecture at nine. I actually don't, but you see when uh, the video goes on. <laughs> I don't have a 9 a.m. lecture. And it's five minutes to nine right now. It's very bad on me. I woke up like 10 minutes before, so literally 20 minutes before the lecture start. But that's the beauty of online lecture. You can literally just whip out your laptop and watch it in bed and no one knows if you don't turn on your camera. Cool. I'm just waiting to get, oh my gosh. There you go. Just waiting to get in my lecture it's like a Q and a kind of thing i'm having my breakfast right now back to my overnight oats <laughs> what is happening it's 906 and i'm still waiting to get in why why am i like this i woke up so early <sighs> My Q&A ah. starts at fucking 10 and it says It says here 10 a.m. Mondays Why is my brain so dead? It's 9 I thought it starts at 9 Oh my god So I could have just stayed in bed for longer Honestly, why am I like this? Do I even have time for gym anymore now? What what do I do now? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna change into my gym outfit. Hello, it's been one hour after me being so disappointed in myself that I thought Oh my god. Okay. Um I literally have a okay, I'm just gonna put my phone on my tripod. I don't know why I didn't use the tripod. Okay, there you go. Isn't that better? Okay, it's been one hour after, you know, okay, I said that already, you know. I'm gonna have my uh, first class of the week, 10 a.m. in the morning, not 9 a.m. I'm not gonna go in the room yet because it's 9.53. I think it's just really awkward looking at people's faces when they're waiting. So I'll just go in when it's like two minutes to 10 or something. Good morning. And um, the way in which we can do this, uh, it's depending on how the professor would like to uh, discuss why she chose these particular readings first. Um, and if you would like to put questions to uh, cover everyone as possible. But if I can now over introduce yourself, um, Professor Anne, and why did you- Oh my gosh. Why the flat? Okay. I just finished, I just finished my Q&A and now I'm going to the gym, your girl, getting on the grind, let's go. Hi, oh my gosh, I just got back from gym and I was listening, oh that's my roommate's sort of thing. I was listening to my lecture at the gym and oh my gosh um it is very good like surprisingly I was picking up on all the points I have such an active brain when I was training my muscle so I feel like from now on I'm gonna just listen to my lectures at the gym you know train my brain and my muscle at the same time So
Quick OOTD. The sun's out today. Look how blue the sky is. I can wear my skirt. This is a jacket, teddy bear coat jacket from Primark, tank top from Zara, and then I got my skirt from Zara. It's a bit too big, but oh my god, look at my bruises from rugby. Like literally, training just started this last week, and my legs are already look, looking shattered. Good morning guys what the heck i had a 9 a.m this morning i didn't know that's how i was literally still in bed i didn't brush my teeth or anything and i was just listening to the q a like what remember how yesterday i literally woke up at 8 40 which is not too early but you know i woke up before my q a and i get got ready and everything waiting for the zoom to start and then i was an hour early and then today i didn't even know the 9 a.m um q a lecture thing is happening what is going on with me honestly i my brain is is like a bit slow anyway that's done this is my breakfast by the way <laughs> Yes, I have noodles for breakfast. I don't have noodles for breakfast every day, but I just felt like noodles. So there you go. I'm on my way to my seminar now. Hi guys. I just got back from shopping in Oxford Street. I had a seminar this morning. Uh, blah 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 seminar is fun to be honest i've been really enjoying lsc uh, i think i might do a video in comparing sheffield and lsc once i really got more into the term since this week is my second week i like it so far but i can't really say for certain that i actually like it because i haven't really been through all my classes yet there are still classes that i haven't taken yet but i feel like lsc is so intellectually thought-provoking uh one of the difference between lsc and sheffield is i have to do my readings which i guess is good they force you to do your reading i never did my reading in sheffield i only did my reading when i needed to when i needed to write papers and i needed to write essays then i do my readings but in lsc you have to do it every single week because that's what we discuss in seminar anyway i went to oxford street i took like a little video because i love oxford street i love how they hang like um bunting in the across the street like stars for oxford street it's just so pretty um because i have a fancy dress social for rugby as i said in my previous video i am joining the rugby's union i did mention that i'm not sure if i have enough time blah 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 but i think i'm gonna commit into it i love the girls there i love rugby and tr going back to training again just makes me feel so good obviously i already have a leg of bruises uh it's fine it's worth it bruises make me feel tough and strong i got some lime green trousers shorts because patrick star wears lime green shorts and i got some purple paint yesterday so i'm gonna paint this short with the print hopefully it will work like fingers crossed they're not even cheap they're like um 13 pounds for these shorts and then i just got like a pink patrick star kind of color tank and then i think i'm gonna wear fishnet to be you know the meme the sexy patrick star maybe because i can't find pink tights as expected who would buy pink tights guys <laughs> guess what i'm doing Ooh, where's the cap for my paintbrush i'm gonna paint the shorts to look like patrick star's short i'm so scared i am an ex a level art student so i feel like i don't really need a i can just you know go on this Ugh. i don't trust myself i'm gonna pen like pencil sketch it first <laughs> oh god i really want to play some music so i might stop recording after i finish this first sketch wait that looks like a penis does it oh, i don't know Wait, is that um ban the word the p word on my channel i've never <laughs> no why does it look like that wait okay oh, guys can you see it like this rough sketch <laughs> 
Wait, but it looks like that on his um shorts. Is that good? Is that is that is that good? I'm gonna paint. I got my makeshift palette right here. My Nespresso cardboard cutout because I don't have a palette. Art and craft, baby. Okay, actually, the color goes on pretty well. The sun has set it already. Just now when I was recording, it wasn't even like completely dark. But um, <laughs> what do you what do you guys think? Does this look like Patrick Starr's trousers? The purple came out a bit too dark. Like in the packaging, obviously it's purple, but when it's dried, obviously it gets like a shade darker. I was an art student. I should have known that, but I forgot. I should have got some white to mix it up. So it looks more purple because it looks kind of like black. Uh, I don't know how it shows on camera, but yes or no. <laughs> I mean, like, by the time you watch this video, I've probably already been to the social. But I, I think it's good enough. <sighs> I, I can't be a perfectionist in everything. This is fine. I think it's, it, it's good enough. Another day. <clears throat> Another 9 a.m. <sighs> Today is the methodology module so i'm learning about ethnography and participant participant observation uh, guest meeting guest lecture sorry uh, megan barker is going to talk to us about ethnography if you're wondering what i wear to rugby training um this is what i wear I literally just put everything I have on. Like I'm wearing skins and I'm wearing like a random t-shirt that I have. Literally my PJ shirt. I'm still wearing my University of Sheffield uh, rugby short because I haven't got, you know, like the LSE rugby short because it's literally week two. And then I have my honey socks that I normally just pull up during training. And I put my boots on. So that's the training look. I normally put on like a jumper on top because it's cold. Even though... Oh, it's another peng day. Look at how blue the sky is. Mm -mm, don't don't be fooled by how blue the sky is. It is actually cold. That's why I have my skins on because um, I need to keep my organs warm. But yeah, let's go training. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm introducing you to Patrick Starr. Yay! <laughs> These are the shorts I was painting. Resemblance, any? I'm gonna put Patrick Starr right next to me right now. That's my outfit. I even painted the back. Ta da! Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so I can't talk. Thank you so much for watching my vlog this week. I have fractured my fingers. <laughs> so I'm half crippled for the foreseeable future and I can't play rugby for the foreseeable future. I'm going to see my doctor again next week, hopefully. I'll have a speedy recovery. But I'm trying my best to edit with my semi-functioning right hand, which is such a pain. Like, I cannot function in life with... Look how swollen and bruised my hands are. Anyway, take care of yourself. Don't be silly like me. I guess that's probably one of the mm, biggest injury I have from rugby. I have some few toenails that fell off, but those doesn't affect my life that much as this one. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. That's my thumbs up. Love you guys. Thank you for taking your time watching my video. Have a good morning, good evening, and good night whenever you're watching this. Bye.